Do 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 do. Okay, oh, my mic's already live. Perfect. Okay, so, oh, one thing I do have to check because, uh, okay, good. It, it brought it over muted. Um, okay, so, I am currently making this video uh, for the simple fact that uh, I've watched it on, I've watched it on Polecat streams, I've watched it on Bugs' streams, I've watched it, not so much, maybe not so much on Bugs' stream, but I've definitely seen this on Jeff Fabiano's, I've seen this on Polecats, I've seen it on just about every other streamer, uh, Ace Pilot, and so on. I, I've always seen, and then on my, my own streams, always I get people coming in, they're trying to... Um, you know, they'll come in and say, your stream's laggy, why is it lagging, why is it like this, or why is it like that, and, um, the, basically, I always try to, unlike, uh, Polecat, and unlike Jeff, and the rest of them, they try to just give a quick five-second answer, and that's it, and there's nothing wrong with that, because, it's a, as you're seeing here, and I will explain everything you're seeing on your screen in a moment. Um, it is a slippery slope uh, discussion, especially when you are trying to do other things. Trying to talk to the streamer about, and trying to engage the streamer about why is the stream displaying for them in a certain way is a slippery slope. It's going it, to, it, it's a, it's, elongated conversation, not just a simple one, because as you see, there are many factors going into this. So I'm going to try to take as little time as possible here um, to explain it the best I can. Um, basically, what you see in front of you right now, and I apologize for the crudity of the, uh, to quote Christopher Lloyd in Back to the Future, I apologize for the crudity of the model. I didn't have time to build it to scale to paint it. Um, but... This basically is, it, it locks up the key factors, the key players in not only a guy like myself or Polecat or whoever streaming it, but it also locks down what your system is doing in order to get to us. So starting basically, just explaining this real quick, obviously you know what the streamer is, you know the internet portion here is the service provider that the respective person is using, okay? That's all that is. Now, I could go into a elongated conversation about um, how, your, how your computer actually looks up internet. I could get into a elongated discussion about uh, um, DHCP. I could get into elongated discussions about DNS, but that's not what's going on here, so it's not gonna be a thing. Um, so anyway, so then you got your internet, your service provider. Then you got the service. What do I mean by service? The service is whoever you're using to view me or Polcat or Bugs or Jeff or Ace or whoever. Um, you know, this is going to be a hell of an advertising episode for all of them. But anyway, damn, I should have talked to him about advertising. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Okay, so the streamer. What do we have on our side? When you come into the stream with us, hey, Zach, glad you can make it. It's a little bit different of a... Um, a little bit different of a uh, uh, stream today. Uh, well, for now, it's going to be the normal one at one o'clock. But anyway, so the first thing you got is the streamer. Okay, now when you come into the stream and you tell us that the stream is laggy, or why is it looking like this or like that? Well, the first thing is when you tell me this, 
I'm going to look immediately to my left where my third, my one, my monitor is, the one that always has uh, OBS up. And I'm going to look right down at it. And I'm going to tell you, well, let's see, my processor is uh, working at barely anything. It's about 8%. That's barely, your, your system normally uses its screensaver more than that. Um, frames per second, depending on what you're doing now. If you're if you got a viewer, um, I know Jeff likes to do a lot of his videos in the upper tier of uh, um, uh, beyond 1080. He likes to go 1080 or higher. Well, when you try to stream that, it's not going to stream at 60 frames a second. It's going to downplay it to 30 because that's all the service provider: YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, Smashcast, uh, Picarto TV. Um, uh, Periscope, whoever. Um, okay, then I'm going to look over and I'm going to see, am I dropping any frames? Basically, all, of, all it means to drop frames is it means along one of these arrows going from the streamer to the service, there's a bottleneck occurring and in order to catch up, your system is simply literally just letting the frame go, just letting it go. Uh, ideally, you want this to be zero. Uh, ideally, also, the only time I've ever seen myself drop frames is when I try to utilize anything that tells me I need to, I can use my full power of my internet, which puts me attempting to broadcast out to YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer, and all of them at uh, 10 meg. Now, here's the thing. Your service provider, when you're a streamer, your service provider is going to lock this down. Uh, YouTube is around five or less. Uh, Twitch, unless you're a partner, uh, they don't want you going any more than usually 3,500. Uh, you can go more than that, but you might experience bottlenecks. You even might get uh, strike letters from your uh, streamer. So you don't want to go too much above this. Uh, then I'm going to look over at my kilobits. I'm going to see. Now, this is likely going to uh, jump up and down, depending. Um, and uh, But normally, I'm somewhere around 2.1 to 3.5, um, which is expected because there are a lot of steps in the pie. Okay. So And then they even make it easier. They color code it for us streamers. Uh, I guess they're going to assume that we're just going to look down quick and say, oh, no, I got a green light here. It literally goes green, light yellow, uh, like a greenish yellow to a yellow to an orange to a red. If you're in red, you're not on. If you're in an orange, you've got major problems. You're probably dropping every other frame. If you're in a yellow, you're probably getting some, uh, you are getting a lot of delay. You probably don't have a good system. Um, you probably need to do some serious updates. Um, if you're using um, hardware encoding, uh, a lot of NVIDIA products allow you to do that. Um, and you, But it does put a little demand on the system. If you don't have one that can do it, I can do it because I got a good NVIDIA card. My system can handle it. Uh, the nice thing about doing that is you're, it requires less CPU, so it gives you more resources to the game and more resources to your streaming software. Okay. Um, so that brings us to yellow, and then you know the rest of the colors. Okay, so you come in, you tell us the stream's laggy. We're going to look down here, and we're going to say, hey, look, I, we're going 60 frames a second. We got no drop frames, and our and our uh, transfer rate is good. Okay, so what have we just done? Our software is telling us, basically, that our connection to the Internet is good. Here's step two. And then our connection to the service, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, Smashcast, whoever, our connection there is good. As soon as our stuff gets to the service, we're out of the connection here. We're out of it. Once it gets to the service, we're not delivering. This is not like a pizza pie, okay? You're not calling us up and you're not uh, ordering a large pie with uh, 20 wings and a bottle of soda. No, you're, uh, once it gets to the service, this is where we end. We are not delivering it right to your doorstep. This is where your system comes in. Okay, so now we come to the other side of this coin. We have we start with you, the viewer, the PC that it's going to wind up on, or tablet, or phone, or whoever. First thing that's going to come into this 
it's going to be the viewer's, your, your computer's home network congestion. So if you have just you and your phone on your router, you probably don't have all that much connect, uh, congestion. But if you have, you know, two laptops, a desktop, uh, three tablets and two phones and, uh, you know, a partridge in a pear tree, you're probably going to have some network congestion depending on the make and model of your router. Okay, next is going to come in your speed of your computer. If you, if you don't have a good computer to be able to view the higher qualities of services that YouTube offers, YouTube is fantastic with uh, what they got for technology, um, you probably will have to go into that bottom right corner of your YouTube display and decrease what you're viewing it in. So if you're trying to view it in 1080, you're probably going to have to scale it back to, you know, 720 or 480 or 360. I wouldn't recommend any lower than that because then you start viewing it in PlayStation 1 graphic and that kind of blows, to be quite frank. Um, and that's the same for any service, no matter who it is. Uh, that's number, so that's two. Number three, you're going to see maintenance facts um, are key factors here. Uh, so if you have a computer and it's top of the line, you went out and you went crazy and you bought a uh, and you bought a uh, Alienware computer, you bought it right from Alienware, you had it custom built because you just had so much money to blow, and you spent two grand on this computer. You got a two terabyte drive in the son of a bitch, and you got a uh, hundred megabytes left of, of space. You're, you're gonna have the, you're gonna have about enough speed to maybe power a light bulb. Okay, so. Um, maintenance factors of your computer are going to come in here. Uh, next, you're going to have, if you're, depending on what internet browser you're using, different internet browsers require different re uh, resource requirements from your system. Um, the brand new Firefox uh, is great. It's getting to where it needs to be. Um, as far as getting you the sp similar speed to Google Chrome, the problem with it is, if you look in your task manager, when you open Firefox, uh, I don't even know what the new one is, 59, 60, I don't know. Give them a week, they'll be out to 65. But anyway, when you open up your task manager and you have one tab open on Firefox, you will actually notice that you have about four Firefoxes running in your task manager, all of them using resources. So uh, Firefox is getting to where it needs to be. It's not quite there yet. It, Using all those resources, it can and will bog down your system. Google Chrome has gotten a lot better here. Google Chrome used to open up a shit ton of resources in your task manager to run your system. And let me give you a little FYI behind the scenes hint here. Google Chrome, how was it able to come on the scene all those years ago and say it was faster than all the other uh, browsers? Time's up. Uh, it, it was able to do this because what it does is it actually locks down. Uh, it, it, as, you, as you start going to these different sites, it actually saves them in your cache, in your internet browser history. So that when you go back to this site, the reason it's loading so quick is because it's loading from its own memory. It's not loading, uh, half the time it's not loading a new page. It's kind of gotten out of that. But it also still makes it a pain in the ass to try to erase your history. Try erasing your history sometime from Chrome. You will notice uh, that it puts it out by days uh, and months and years. <laughs> uh, it's nuts. All this will bog down your system. It's like the unseen killer. I guess you could kind of call it the cancer of a computer system. Uh, because you don't see it. You know, but yet it's going to inhibit what you're able to do as far as performance. Okay, so now we've gotten past this part. Okay, now you're going to, you've already connected to your router. It's already sending it to your internet provider. Now, the speed of your internet provider is going to matter here. There are five speeds of internet. Five speeds. Well, I should say five brands, five flavors, if you prefer. Okay, let's let's uh, take a take a uh, trip to the New York side of things, and uh, you know they just came out with thirty-one different flavors of sexuality. So, 
Uh, I, I'm not going to compete with Baskin Robbins over there. Um, there are five flavors of internet speed. Okay. Um, you have dial up, satellite, DSL, HSI, cable, and fiber. Here's the reason I put them in that order. Okay. And it's in the, uh, the lower you get on the list, the faster it gets. Okay. The reason I put them in that order and I put satellite right after dial up is because essentially when you're on satellite, satellite, everyone a few years back, millennials won't really know this. It's just because you're young. But uh, uh, back in the 90s when they were really talking about satellite internet, it was thought to be, oh, you're connecting to outer space and you're getting that signal down and it's the speed of light. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> Lying asshole. Anyway, it's not that fast. Uh, satellite on the download is... Oh... Let's see, on the download speed, generally, I, I'd have to look this back up, uh, but uh, satellite on the download speed, there's two things to download, there's two speeds, download speed and upstream. Um, and satellite on the download is about the speed of low-grade, maybe mid-grade DSL, okay? Uh, and it depends. If you have good so southern sky exposure, so if you're down here in Texas, uh, or anywhere on this on that belt, you're probably going to get a pretty decent satellite connection. Personally, I would not touch a satellite connection uh, with a 10-foot cattle prod, uh, but that's just me. Your upstream, on the other hand, sucks completely. Um, it's about the speed of dial-up. Dial-up, of course, everyone, uh, well, people my age will remember that uh, your maximum speed was a 57.6 modem, or 57k modem. Um, some friends of mine uh, were able to use their 57.6 modem that was supposed to be limited by the FCC to 54 uh, because so it wouldn't break anything at the uh, um, telephone company. Uh, a friend of mine over in uh, 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 central New York who is actually a part of my Code 1 team and executive producer on the show is... I uh, was able to actually get his dial-up speed to get 115 kilobits per second. So, but that was unreal speed for a dial-up. Uh, that was not standard. And somehow he was doing this over, um, uh, I, think his, I think his company was Frontier, actually. Uh, so that was very shocking. Uh, then you get that DSL HSI. Okay, I called it these two names because of... Um, if you, <laughs> uh, well, I, I felt this, this uh, taking the time out here, um, I felt this was a very needed video read because um, I know I get it a lot, Polkett gets it a ton, um, Jeff gets it, uh, Ace Pilot gets it, people coming in saying the stream is laggy. So I'm basically just trying to show them what goes into this so they know what factors to look. Uh, okay, time back in. Okay, DSL and HSI. Why did I label these two things together? Because HSI, if you if you listen to the web neutrality thing, everything from satellite, DSL, cable, and fiber are supposed to be HSI, high-speed internet. That's not the case. In fact, if you, have, if you go through Verizon for your DSL, uh, Verizon sales reps are told not to call it DSL. And the reason is because I'm sure, I'm, as I'm saying DSL, we got millennials, we got uh, pre-millennials, and we got uh, so on, who are all cringing every time I'm saying the word DSL. Because DSL had got uh, tried to compete with cable, and speeds on TSL could not compete. Um, so Verizon knew it was having a bad time selling its DSL, so it, it turned it around, it sold it as high-speed internet, and people, to hide it from people that they were actually getting DSL. Now, DSL, what goes into this? There are three speeds. One meg, three meg, five meg. And in some areas, it can go as high as seven meg. Okay? Now, 
What, Matt, what really determines how you will get these speeds? Well, literally, and I mean literally, where does the viewer live in relation to the internet source provider? So literally, if you are right on top of the uh, service provider, you will probably get anywhere from five to seven megabytes, okay? If you live out in the boondocks, on the other hand, okay, absolutely, Reed. I'm, I'll uh, see you later on today. Um, so yeah, so if you live in the boondocks and you want DSL, because you don't want satellite and you want to get away from dial-up, you're probably going to get one meg service. And they're one meg ser and one meg service across the board is going to be one meg down with an up speed of probably somewhere in the neighborhood of um, about anywhere from 250 to 500 uh, yeah 250 to 500 kilobits uh, up to the internet. Um, no, no worries. Uh, okay, so that is DSL. Um, so pretty much, if you're watching us on DSL, HSI, satellite, or dial-up, if you're watching on dial-up, my apologies. Um, but if you're watching any of those three, uh, you're probably right away going to want to downgrade your, uh, when you go to, you, say, let's just use YouTube because it's the easiest one to use. If, when you go to YouTube, Go to that bottom right-hand corner if you're what, especially if you're watching Jeff, because he does. He has a great computer. He has a great show. He has a great format, but he streams in such high quality that um, if you are viewing us on, D, if you're viewing him on DSL satellite or dial-up, you're going to want to go in that bottom right-hand corner and downgrade and downgrade what your the what you're viewing him in to probably 360 or uh, maybe even 240 because that way your computer is going to be able to keep up with what he's providing to YouTube. And same with me. My last few uh, streams and my last few, uh, my few, my last few streams, they've been in 1080 resolution. So if you're, if you're on DSL, which a lot of the country is, or high speed internet, if you're with Verizon, um, you're going to want to downgrade what you're watching us on YouTube with. Um, and if you're, because you're, otherwise your system is going to try to view us in 720 or 1080 or whatever. And it's not going to keep up. You're going to see broken textures. You're going to see blotchiness. You're going to have, um, um, um. Uh, a lot of a lot of stopped frames, okay, all because your system is trying your internet connection is trying to keep up, and the internet connection just can't keep up to the view to your computer, so you, that's where your drop flame, frames flames really, your drop frames come in your blotchiness your bad quality comes in, uh, lag, and so on, so this is why this is one reason you would come in to me or Jeff or whoever and say. Uh, your stream's laggy. Why? Well, we look. It's a green light across the board for us. So, how's your internet connection? That would be number one. Now, if you're viewing us on cable, uh, I actually watched, I was able to watch part of it, Reed. Uh, I didn't get a chance to really finish it. Um, but it, it was uh, pretty decent, actually. Um, gave me a few ideas, too. Um... Yeah, uh, so with cable, now with cable, there's pretty much only really, well, there's some different flavors here. Um, there's some different flavor, flavors on cable, uh, depending on what um, service provider you're with. Uh, these, uh, your base package, for instance, on a lot of providers starts you out at roughly like um, the speed of DSL, but it's not DSL, you're over cable, but you're only going to get like five five megabytes down and, you know, 768 up. Yeah, and when I say 768, I mean 768K. Um, that's on the bottom line. And then you can go up from there. Some 
providers go from there to um, um, can go up there to 10 or 20. Um, I know personally on mine, um, the download speed is 200 meg down to me. But this does that doesn't matter, okay? That doesn't matter when I'm streaming, okay? When I'm streaming, the 200 down doesn't matter. What matters is how fast I'm getting it up to the service. And my up speed to the service is 50. So um, this is why when I stream in 720 or 1080, I'm showing green lights across the board and good frame rate, not dropping any frames and so on. So, um, but for you guys, you're downloading me from the internet or you're downloading Jeff or you're downloading Polecat or whoever. Um, I bet you can't tell who I watch a lot. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so now with cable, there's, you got a handful of flavors, okay? You get, you get that. Uh, now with uh, fiber, and if you're viewing us on, on the lowest grade of cable, let's just call it 5 meg, you probably don't want to be viewing someone like myself or Jeff in 1080 resolution. You're, pro you're going to want to limit yourself to probably 360, okay? Um, you might want to possibly... <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so... Um, yeah, so with uh, uh, cable, uh, if you're viewing on 5, you probably want to do 360. You could experiment and view us in 480, but you still might get the blotchiness. But it's not a bad thing to try to test to see what the best quality you can get us in. Um, okay, so if you're on the low-grade cable, you probably want to stick it to around 360 resolution when you're viewing us. Now, if you're on a fiber connection, the main difference between a fiber connection and a cable connection, okay, is that um, a cable connection still goes into basically uh, one line. So it's not like you're sharing your internet. It's not like being on the same network, okay? Like I have a network of computers, okay? I have a network of computers. I got... Um, you know, a network of mobile phones. I got a network of uh, computers. If you can't tell, I work, I uh, run my own company and I stream. So <laughs> uh, if I don't have a nervous breakdown, it's a plus. But um, since I have all of this, okay, um, all of this would be sharing one internet connection. I'm talking not when I'm in studio, obviously. Because if I'm sharing all that when I'm streaming, it would probably bog down the stream. This this is not on that network connection. Uh, this is actually with the um, with the company itself. Okay, two different systems, two different networks. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there before I get a comment in the chat right now, or I get a comment later on that says, "Well, that's probably why you're having this issue." No, it's not. Two separate networks. Anyway, so uh, five cable. If you're on five cable, you want to probably stick us to about 360 on uh, YouTube. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have the bad graphics and the jitteriness. Um, if you're on fiber, okay. So with cable and fiber, uh, it's think of uh, think basically think of cable as a highway. Okay. Uh, it's all going to one service provider. Now, whoever it is in your part of the country or your part of the globe, I don't know any European ones. I do apologize for my European my European viewers. But in the, in the United States, whether you're with Cox or Comcast, uh, uh, I guess Time Warner's now with Spectrum, um, and uh, or whoever, uh, AT and T, um, wh whoever you're with as far as cable, it's all going into each person's home is going there is a, going on an on-ramp to the highway to the service provider. So depending on the day, the time, um, even in some cases uh, the service you're looking at, 
your internet speed could theoretically on the download, because again, that's what you need, on the download, that's could be a, that's going to be a major uh, decider of how fast your cable is that day, uh, because you're all sharing the same lane. Now, on fiber, not only does each house have its own on-ramp to that highway, each house has its own express lane to the service provider. So if 600 people are, are on uh, Comcast, 600 people are sharing the same lane to get to Comcast after they get on the highway. If 600 people are with Google uh, Fiber or um, uh, Verizon Fios, if, or um, I don't remember if AT&T has one or not. Those are the two I thought of right away. Um, with them, you got your own lane and it's going straight to the provider, but it's not co-mingling with everyone else's connection. So, yeah, I noticed that, Reed. Um, so, yeah, so um, um, everyone has their own data connection direct to the Internet provider, and that's why fiber and fiber travels at the speed of light to the Internet provider through a vacuum. Uh, so that is why fiber is going to be quicker. Cable coaxial is a electronic impulse going through uh, wires to get to the provider. That means also what's going to impact this is if you're too hot, if the weather is too hot, or if the weather is too cold. So there's a lot of things that can interfere with your cable speed. Um, I said I was going to try to make this a short video. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, getting back to this, again, the speed of the internet of the viewer will determine the major factor because here, too, your view, your computer now comes up. It's gone to your internet provider. It's gone to your home network. It's now at the internet provider. Uh, internet provider has has now what's called hand shook with the IP. Okay? It's now hand shook with your computer to know which speed you're on to be able to send this to the service provider. Now, the service provider is going to see how fast you can receive, okay? Now, here's the other thing. And this really doesn't matter as much because um, I'll say that right off. Because if you, if, let's say you're at, um, uh, your internet speed is uh, 20, 20 down and uh, uh, 5 up. Uh, your router is going to handle that, unless you have some router from 1980. Um, your router is going to handle that. Um, but if you if your computer has a gaming internet card, uh, so it's 10, 100, 1000, but your router or your modem router cannot handle anything more than 10, 100, your computer is not handling anything faster than 100. Okay? So I just wanted to throw that out there as well. Um, so now you've hand shook, the computer knows, the service provider knows, you can't handle anything more than uh, 20 meg down. So that is the speed now you're handshaking with YouTube or Twitch or uh, Mixer or whoever. And then this is going to come back, this dotted line, I had no other way I could of thinking of making this crude little drawing. And then it's going to come back to the internet and back to the viewer. So... And that completes, uh, <laughs> I have even worse than you read because I have 21 years of experience and I, and I, and I love teaching, <laughs> if you can believe it or not. Um, so, and I just see over here, Davey Dom 19 subscribing to me on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing there, man. Uh, they're not, uh, all my videos aren't help videos. I really do pr produce some uh, good LSPDFR. I will be on live later today as well, 1 p.m. Central. So um, I'll uh, hope to see you there. Okay, so in short and in summary, and in short's a interesting uh, phrase for someone who's gone over a half hour. Um, basically, what does this all mean? You come into the viewer, you come into the stream, 
and you wait five minutes and you then t start telling us because you're getting blotchiness, stuttery frames, block, uh, uh, not good or terrible graphics, uh, and so on, broken audio, you tell us that um, uh, the stream's laggy. Why is it laggy? Why? Why was this? Oh, your computer must suck, or your internet, you know, your internet may suck. Blah blah blah. You come in and ask us, is the stream laggy? Well, the first two things uh, we're going to check, or at least I'm going to check, and, I, and if I'm checking it, with how long they've been doing it, I know Polcat, and I know Jeff, and I know Bugs, and I know Ace. We're all going to check the same damn thing. We're going to go over to our software, we're going to look down at our statistics, and we're going to say, the stream is fine. So now, if we say the stream is fine, that means everything from our, from the streamer to the internet to the service is good. Now you say, well, your computer's bad. What are you running this on? Blah, blah, blah. We tell, we, this is an, this is a um, observational thing. All we got to do here is look at the game. Okay? All that Now, that's something you guys can't see because, unfortunately, when you guys are seeing it, you're seeing it from the viewer to the Internet to the service, so you're seeing on the end, you're seeing the problem end. So we're doing the observation. You're not actually seeing our screen. You're seeing your computer or your Internet providers or you're seeing what the service... Now, also, I didn't touch upon the service provider could be going through a thing of maintenance. It's possible. It, the service provider could be getting slammed. Uh, YouTube is the biggest uh, in the world as far as social media, streaming, and broadcasting software in the world. So it it the idea that they could be possibly be getting slammed from around the world is pretty decent. So... Um, you know, the and just for just to throw it out there, the second biggest in the world is actually Daily Motion, um, which is mostly which is uh, operates out of Paris, and uh, um, they get they're they're a big one for European uh, viewership, um, which it stands to reason why I'm with both services. But you know, um, that's a side story. Uh, but anyway. So the service provider, you know, YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, whoever, they could be going through a bout of maintenance. They could be getting slammed. There's some stuff that can be happening on that end that my system may see um, everything going good. They could be doing the maintenance. But I would tend to think, and I'll throw this out as a hypothetical, I would think that if they're having trouble receiving me, it's going to show up on my streamer software and I'm going to see a lot of drop frames because I'm going to see the bottleneck occurring at the service level. So, uh, bottlenecks for the streamer can occur at the streamer level. They can occur at the service level. Uh, at the streamer level, one of the things that can cause the bottleneck is if I tell my streaming software to function at 10 meg like it sometimes wants me to do, well, my internet could take it, but the service won't. So what's going to happen is as it comes through, the service is going to start refusing it. Hence the bottleneck, hence dropped frames. So, uh, and the other time it can occur at the streamer level is if, my, is if the game, if I'm playing or someone's playing and the game starts to get stuttery, like say, um, I don't know, Say I scheduled a scan to happen at t this time and I forgot I was going to be streaming and I forgot that I set the schedule. Well, the two things going on, the computer is trying to manage resources. GTA, for instance, is very strenuous. So it's going to, and so is streaming software. Um, so the streams, so GTA could start to be lagging. But again, that's going to be a visual thing that we're going to see and you're not. What you're seeing doesn't matter at that point as far as... It, I hate that that's going to sound... Uh, I hate that's going to sound uh, uh, a little crass and uncaring, but it's the truth. What you're seeing on this end, when you say, is, the, is it laggy? Well, 
if I'm, I'm visually looking at the source material and the game is playing perfect. So I could look at my software, which is going to be a direct indication of how the stream is going to the, from the internet, from me to the internet to the service. And I'm seeing a green light across the board. Well, then that honestly means the problem's going to exist at the service level all the way back up to and including the target computer. Um, so, and at that point, what you'll want to look at is the following. You're going to want to look at the, uh, maybe you, uh, you know, check, try clearing out your cookies and cache from the uh, web browser. Try an alternate web browser. Um, if you have a lot of windows open, I know double monitors nowadays are becoming very uh, commonplace for home users. So uh, if you have a lot of windows open, if you're viewing me or Jeff or Polcat and you've also got an uh, another YouTube window open and you're kind of watching that on mute, I don't know, I'm just trying to come up with different things that'll use up your bandwidth. If you're doing that with multiple windows, Try closing your multiple windows uh, because all of those are going to eat into your uh, uh, your uh, computer's resources. And okay, fine, you can tell me all you want. I have a computer. I have an i7. Well, you know what? The i5, the i7, the Alienware, the uh, what, 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 whatever. I don't care. I really don't <laughs> because. Uh, if you if you don't do standard maintenance on your computer, clearing your history, clearing your uh, cookies, uh, make it sure that you got my target that I usually tell people in 21 years is shoot for at least no more than 50% of your hard drive cluttered. If you have more than 50% of your hard drive filled, that's a problem. And here's a counterpoint: don't on your system. Install a three ter terabyte hard drive if you've only got a dual core computer. Even if it's 64 bit and you got Windows 10 and whatever, don't put a three terabyte hard drive into a into a computer that's only a Intel Core Duo. The first computer I thought of that would not be able to handle that, because on the flip side, while you don't want too much shit on your hard drive, you also don't want too much free space available because that's the counter part. If you have too much free space, your computer literally, your computer's dumb. Everyone's computer is dumb. Um, you know, everyone's computer is dumb. Uh, so it does, it's not like you go into a file cabinet and saying you need a file under um, A and just, okay, opening up the first, the top, uh, Drawer, finding it, and walking away. No, your computer's dumb. It's gonna, if it's a four drawer file cabinet, it's gonna open up and it's gonna go through each file in each cat in each drawer, and eventually it will find it. And your computer's kinda and everyone's computer's kinda dumb because when you tell it to save something, it doesn't save it logically. It saves part one here and part two here and part three there and part four up here and part five here. This is why defragging your computer isn't a bad thing either because what a defrag does is it goes through, records the line, and it logically files everything. Keep doing that because it will prolong the life of your hard drive. Um, okay, so there's your maintenance tips. Uh, internet speed. Again, this is major. I can't tell you. I mean, matter of fact, I'm going to challenge every one of my viewers, whether you're on YouTube, Mixer, Smashcast, uh, or uh, Twitch, you come into my stream, you see something laggy. What I'm going to immediately do uh, from this point on is I'm going to still look at my game and see if it looks okay. I'm still going to go over here and look to, the, look to my left, and I'm going to see, so I guess it's, well... Yeah, that's going to be inverse. Anyway, I'm going to look to my left, and I'm going to take a look at how the stream looks. If I come back and tell you both are thumbs up, 
I want you to be able to tell me what you, uh, what you have for internet and how fast for download speed. Okay, shouldn't be too hard if you have cable or fiber or DSL HSI because they are all about advertising how much speed you get uh, for a download. They like to hide. They hide under penalty of death what your upload speed is. But upload speed doesn't matter when you're viewing uh, Paul, Bugs, Jeff, Ace, me, whoever. Okay, those are the three main components here. Um, and if all three of those are in check, then it's going to still come back to your computer. What kind of maintenance? How fills the hard drive? How active is your home network? Uh, what browser you're using? Okay. So hopefully this cleared up some stuff. And yes, if you're watching uh, me or any of us while you're playing a game, yes, your game is your... Uh, your game is probably going to stutter as well because when you're downloading on top of playing a game, um, those are two heav heavy bandwidth, heavily bandwidth stuff, and it's going to eat up resources left, right, and center. So uh, that's on your front. On top of that, it's probably going to make the stream look laggy. So again, because you're using up resources. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully this cleared it up for some people. Uh, if you have any questions on this, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I will try to respond. Either me or one of my moderators will try to respond. And uh, we will try to get you uh, the answer to your question. If you need something clarified, to leave it in the comments. Um, and uh, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. I'm also gonna challenge my viewers uh, one more. One more challenge. And I also challenge you to do this if you're viewing anyone else, okay? If you're viewing Paul or Bugs or Jeff or Ace Pilot, um, Steve the Gamer uh, or whoever, okay? If you're viewing any of us and you come on and you watch the video and you don't like it and so you click the unlike button okay that's fine but do all of us a favor if it is something particular that you didn't like okay if it's something particular maybe uh, that episode I was doing a um, Maybe that episode I was doing a uh, uh, proactive police work and the radio was slow and you didn't like it because it was too slow. Put that in the comments. Let me know. Uh, hey, John, you know, nor I'm uh, viewed a few of your stream streams, watched a few of your episodes, uh, really didn't care for the like those, but didn't really care for this one. Uh, not enough action. An unlike and that comment will go ten times uh, any, any it, 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 it will help all of us. It'll help me uh, say, hey, because if I get enough of those comments, hey, John, like your videos, but that episode that you did proactively in the city, it just moved too slow for me. You know, so an unlike and that kind of comment will go wor worlds with me. And I know... And I hope I'm not out of line. And if Paul Cat and Bugs and Jeff see this and they say I'm out of line on this, uh, I do apologize right now. But I know the same for them as well. <laughs> you know, uh, it, or any of us. Because if you just hit the, un the unlike and you leave, maybe you come back and watch again. But the unlike and a suggestion of what you didn't like. Now, on this also, don't troll, Okay. You know, don't troll and, uh, you know, well, I'm going to say it this way. Don't troll and be an idiot. If you're going to troll and be an idiot, you know what? Don't even leave a unlike, <laughs> you know, uh, because trolling comments don't help. Um, so, yeah, if you're going to hit the unlike, that's fine. Tell us what you didn't like. You know, maybe the video was too slow. Maybe uh, you would like to see a... Um, uh, you were hoping to see a partner episode, and I didn't do a partner episode. Um, 
you know, uh, maybe you wanted a military episode and I just couldn't get the military episode, the military stuff in to use. You know, something. Um, you know, and like I said, that goes across the board. Um, you know, because that and that, that and a genuine statement to help us get better. This is a learning process for all of us. So we're learning what you want to see and you're learning what we're what we are able to show you. So it's a give and take relationship. So again, if you have any questions on on the speed factors, uh, one final thing I will throw out here on this whole chart to always remember when you're playing a net doing anything over a network. I don't care if it's a LAN, I don't care if it's a WAN. LAN, local area network. WAN, wide area network. What is a LAN? LAN is your computer connected to a router that has other computers or phones or other devices connected to it. That's a LAN. That, those local IPs are generally anything from 1010.2.xx, you know, .x.x to 172. Dot, uh, I don't remember what the 172s are, to be honest. I think those can be any numbers. So 172.x.x.x .x .x, uh, or 192. Dot, same thing as the 172. That's a lo those are local IPs, and um, those are local IPs uh, for your LAN. A WAN is everything from this point, your internet provider, out to the World Wide Web. And those IPs are generally everything but the ones I just listed for the LAN. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all I got to say right now. Uh, it took me 50 minutes to say it. I wasn't planning to go this long, but uh, yeah. Um, 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 I, I could actually look into doing a PA episode. Hint, hint. It's uh, not, not too, um, uh, not too uh, subtle there. <laughs> Uh, and don't worry, when I do the PA episode read, um, I'll uh, I'll make sure I hit a, a gas pump just for you when I go 1041. Um, so, again, hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if for any reason on mine or anyone else's you ever hit an unlike button, uh, go that extra step for us. Let us know what you didn't like or what you would like to see in an upcoming video. And we'll, we, that's the best thing. Um, we always, we love suggestions because we love the challenge to try to bring those to you. So, okay, well, if I keep going any longer, I'm gonna be able to uh, just keep the stream active and uh, for two more hours and uh, go right into GTA. But um, uh, for now, I wanna thank you for uh, tuning in and uh, like I said, comments if you have any questions or concerns. And uh, if you hit the unlike button on anyone's video, always leave a comment to what you'd like to see or what you were expecting to see or what you think we could improve upon. Okay? Okay. I will see you all at uh, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, for our next episode. And... Um, I'm going to actually try to use the speed radar handheld gun. So, um, if you haven't, if you don't know what that is, uh, Elbow1125 did an episode a few, a uh, few weeks back. Uh, I do actually have the radar gun installed now. Got that from lspdfr.com. And I'm going to go ahead and actually showcase that a little bit better. Uh, it's not going to be a partner episode this, uh, today because, um, unfortunately when I get out... <laughs> You know, that's the best thing about making you about making you laugh right now because I know you're in school. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm going to try to showcase that. I can't showcase it with a partner too well because I tried yesterday and when sh when I get out, the partner gets out and then the partner gets in very slowly. So uh, I am going to try to showcase that. And, uh, okay, I will see you all at 1 p.m. Uh, enjoy the rest of your morning or depending on where you are, your afternoon. And I will see you then. Till then, I'm going to be 1042.